Where is Kara? She's been missing for more than a month now. There was the call from her mobile phone just before midnight. Then nothing. She has blonde hair and green eyes. Tonight, the clock is ticking for a family desperate for clues in the mysterious disappearance of their beautiful 19-year-old daughter, uh, Kara Nichols. Uh, there she is in various photos. Was last heard from a month and a half ago when she made a call from her cell phone just before midnight. That is the last trace of this aspiring model. Her mother and father believe she was on her way to Denver for a potential modeling job. The cops call her disappearance suspicious because she has had no contact with family or friends. What are the secrets of this case that might help us find Kara? Straight out to Michelle Bart, president and co-founder of the National Women's Coalition Against Violence and Exploitation. Michelle, I know you're working very closely with this frantic family. We all want to find Kara. Uh, I'm perplexed. Uh, this beautiful young woman has been missing for more than a month, and yet doing research all day, we can't find basic information. We don't know if she was driving a car, let alone what kind of car. So what do we know, Michelle? Um, basically what you said on the intro, we know that she left her home in Colorado Springs, bound for Denver about 60 miles away from Colorado Springs to Denver on October 9th. The last ping was at 11.45 p.m., and the family came to our organization this past week because there was no media attention on CARA. And you know and I know, Jane, in order for the public to care and want to look for someone, they need to know she's missing. And so that's what our media campaign this week is all about. Do you know if she had a car? Uh, I don't know. Um, on that aspect of things, uh, we know that the investigators who have been working really well with the family will have a press conference tomorrow and hopefully we'll learn a little bit more about what they were, uh, what they know from their investigation the last 41 days that she's been missing. John Lieberman, what have you learned? You've been investigating this all yeah, day. Yeah, well, my thoughts and prayers go out to her of family. Course. What they're enduring is just pure hell. We know that investigators are looking at her circle of friends. They're looking at a boyfriend. They're looking at the fact that she worked at a restaurant and did some modeling, as you alluded to. And one thing to focus on in missing persons cases are, in this case, her tattoos. She has two kind of extraordinary, unique tattoos, a small tattoo of a spaceman on her left wrist and a small tattoo of a leaf on her left ankle. Michelle Bart, how are the parents holding up tonight? Uh, it was very difficult today. Uh, they met with <laughs> investigators. So, of course, this has been very trying on them, especially leading into the holiday. Uh, they are in Denver. They will be at the press conference tomorrow, and her father, Paul, will speak. And then we hope to, you know, get some information and some tips coming into law enforcement so that the El Paso County Sheriff's Office can lead to where Cara is or people that know where she is. Uh, I do want to make a, a point to say she was not employed as a model, and that's the perception that's been out there the last 40 days, and that's why we're going to the national media to say she's someone's daughter and she needs to be found, and anything else that she might have posted on other sites um, we prefer to stay away from that because, as you know, Jane, once you post something, you'll regret it later. And I think Cara, if she was with us right now, would probably say I made a mistake posting the kind of photos I did. Well, uh, I have not seen any photos that you're referring to. And model is, in my opinion, a, a very legitimate profession. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But we respect completely the parents' wishes. We want to find this young lady. That's all we care about. A uh, final word, John. Here's what police will stress tomorrow. Somebody knows what happened to this young girl. Somebody saw something after October 9th. And even people who think that the information they have isn't vital to the case, it is. Police want to know anything. You saw her. You, you saw her in a store. You knew of her. Any backstory. Every little bit. Let police put the puzzle together. But please come forward with what you know. Tune in tomorrow night. We're talking to Kara's parents. We are monitoring the news conference. We're going to bring you the very latest. We are going to find this young lady, and our hearts do go out to Kara's mother and father. I know you're going through hell. Hang in there. More on the other side.